guys, so today I'm here to talk about The Impossible Knife of Memory for the Reblog Book Club. I will only be talking about chapters 1 through 31, which is what we'll be discussing this week, and I haven't even read farther beyond that point, just because I want all of my discussions to be about what I currently know and not what I know is going to be happening. So if you are someone who has read the entire book or is further along, please don't leave any spoilers in the comments or anything like that. So in this book, we are following Haley. Her and her dad have moved back to her dad's hometown. It's her senior year of high school. Her dad thought it was a good idea for her to be in a high school. Apparently there's something where her dad was a trucker, I think, and Haley kind of just stayed on the road with him the entire time. She was never actually enrolled in a school. Her dad appears to be a war veteran and seems to be suffering from PTSD. Haley's dad sort of goes through these various lapses where he'll be doing really good and seem to have it all together and then the next moment he will be turning to alcohol and getting drunk and just not even getting up out of bed to go to work or anything like that. A lot of the book is Haley just worrying about her dad and making sure that he's okay and he's doing what he needs to be doing but also her trying to make sure everyone else around them doesn't realize what's going on. She is very much trying to protect her and her dad from any sort of outside scrutiny. Haley and her dad's relationship and that whole situation is probably the most interesting part about this book so far to me. I think it's really interesting to see mental illness and this sort of disorder being talked about in a young adult book. And I think the way that they talk about these things in the book feels very real because it's one of those situations where Haley's only 17 years old so she doesn't even completely understand what's happening. She understands as much as she possibly can and she's trying to do as much as she can do but she's only 17 years old and there's only so much she can do and a lot of the times it's just about her trying to protect her dad. There is something that is hinted at in this book about an ex-girlfriend almost turned wife named Trish and I'm not completely sure what's going on with that whole storyline because they just keep hinting at how Trish was in their lives and now she's not anymore and Haley is very suspicious of Trish and doesn't want her knowing where they are or what's going on with them or anything like that so at any hint that Trish could be figuring it out Haley sort of freaks out. So I'm very interested to see what is going on with that whole situation. The other characters that are in this book are Gracie who is basically Haley's only friend. Haley is very suspicious of everyone and she doesn't trust anyone. In the book she talks about how everyone falls into two categories, zombies or freaks, and everyone is born a freak and then eventually they get turned into a zombie by basically just listening to everything the world tells them about the way that they should be and the way they should act and the things that they should talk about. So they basically just march along without thinking for themselves. She thinks basically everyone is a zombie but Gracie is the one person who she actually likes. Which I think is really interesting because I think that in any other situation Haley would think Gracie is a zombie because there's nothing about her that is particularly rebellious or freak-like so to speak other than the fact that she's nice to Haley. But Haley still seems to accept her into her life. And then there is Finn who appears to be the love interest in this story. I kind of have mixed feelings feelings on Finn at the moment. While the things that he does for Haley seem really sweet, I don't know why, but I feel suspicious of him. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me talking, but he just seems too nice and too caring, especially since at the beginning of this book it doesn't seem like Finn knows Haley at all, but he seems really, really into her. I mean, it could be a very genuine feeling, but I don't know for some reason. I'm just very hesitant about liking Finn because I feel like that might not work out, but I could, again, I could be completely wrong about that. If you guys can see, I have tabbed up already quite a bit of the book just because I think Haley is a really interesting character with really interesting ideas. I know that she's fictional, but I think that the thoughts that she has, especially for being in high school, are really clever. She has all these ideas that are sort of thinking outside of the box. She doesn't want to just do things because she's told to do them. She needs a reason why to do them, but at the same time, it also feels like she's resisting a little bit too hard which is, I think, understandable considering where she's coming from. She isn't very trustworthy of people, so obviously she's not going to just listen to everybody, but all the time in this book,
book you see her sort of assessing the people around her and she knows how to sort of manipulate the situations or sort of put up a wall or a guard so that way she doesn't have to expose too much of herself to other people but when it comes to authority figures she gives just enough so that way they don't become too suspicious or anything like that so I think it's really interesting I'm really interested to see where this story goes and like I said the whole family aspect of this story is really what is pulling me in the most and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with them because I have a feeling that in this next part something's gonna happen so yeah those are all my thoughts on the impossible knife of memory feel free to leave your comments down below if you are reading along as well let me know what you guys think of it or what you guys think of this first part and if you guys have any predictions about what's going to be coming up this is one of those books where it's very hard to see what could come because there are so many potential problems and threats that are already planted in the beginning of the story that any one of those could come to fruition in the next part so we'll see what happens if you haven't already check out the reblog book club on tumblr there is a link down in the description feel free to make your own videos or tumblr posts talking about this book there is already a lot of really great discussion happening in the reblog book club tag so yeah that's all i have for now thanks for watching